good afternoon one and all in this session we are going to learn how to generate the association rules by using a priori algorithm so association rules are nothing but identifying the frequent item sets so in the last class we have learned about what is a priori algorithm and what is association rule and how can we mine the frequent items sets using association rules so a, a quick glance here so here in the a priori algorithm we are going to find the candidate set and as well as the support count and as well as count value also so we are going to calculate the support count with minimum support value so we are going to generate the two types of tables that is candidate table and as well as frequency table also so like this these are going to be constructed by using veka so here i am going to open my veka application so i am going to perform association rule on two types of data the first one is banking data and second one is employee data so let me open my data first so here this is my data so let me edit this one right so this is the data so here i am going to take the attributes as by, that is buying data of a customer that is age income study credit rate and as well as buys computers or not so for this i am going to add certain type of data so type all these data in a notepad and save in the form of dot arff so dot arff so here i have saved my data in the form of dot arff now i am going to open my veka and i am going to select the explorer so in the explorer i am going to select the particular data so open file and i am going to navigate to my folders that is veka data and here i am going to select my data so when once the data is selected it has obtained the entire values or column values and rows into the veka now when I, whenever we are going to click on edit it will open the arf of complete picture of a data now we are going to apply the association rule so for this association rule we are going to select the associate tab so in this the defaultly the app application was selected that is the algorithm was selected as a priori so choose so here a priori itself then we are going to start so when once the start is selected here we can clearly see the minimum support value and as well as minimum metrics and as, well as minimum cycles also so in this we can we, we can easily identify the income study age and as well as the remaining things also the same can be applied for uh, another data also so let me close this one and i am going to open my veka once again i am going to select an explorer so in this in this i am going to select an open file so for this i am going to select the bank data so let me open my veka and i am going to select the banking data so here the customer details are mentioned so let me select the edit option and here mail and female date and as well as account numbers bank name location as well as deposit or not so for this i am going to calculate the minimum support and confidence value and as well as count value also so for this association i am going to select the start and here you can clearly see that the minimum support value is 0.25 and the minimum confidence value is 0.9 that is veka defaultly calculate the a priori algorithm and identify the frequent item sets in the given data so in this way we are going to find the association rules between the data using veka thank you